Good morning, peoples. Today's video is gonna be exciting. It's, um, it's track day. Yay. Anyway, I'm gonna make it to a little bit of a vlog too, just to make it fun. Well, that's lovely. I got seranium oxide all over my tripod from doing the windshield on the MR2. TRD Camry, get it. Dude, I cannot wait to do the review of this car. This thing's kind of a beast on corners. Hmm. Anyway, I am headed up to Phoenix right now-ish, kinda, to Bondurant Racetrack, because I'm gonna be driving the new Supra on the racetrack. cars. I'm gonna have to get out and walk around and check out some of these cars first. That's a huge wang on that S2000. Jeez. I just saw a teeter-tot. Look, it's a teeter-tot. It's a track teeter-tot. No way. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really hard to pay attention to filming anything because there's just so many awesome sounding cars and I keep looking every time I hear one. It's got a different front bumper on it though. But it's a teeter-tot. That's cool. So here's the Supras that I'm going to be driving on track. Oh, they're taping up the headlights on that one. I guess that one means business. I only have like 15 minutes before this thing starts, so I'm going to do my best to check out some cars here real quick so you guys can see the cars that are here real quick. I'm so happy that it's cloudy out today. It's so nice. It's like in the upper 60s. It seems like there's more Porsches here than anything. There's a Cayman. Some huge brakes on that Golf R. A bunch of little N.A. Miatas. Track Skittles. Oh, there's N.B. over there. Next to the S.T.I. Ooh, a D.C. 2 Type R. Oh, it's left-hand drive. It's converted. E.G.'s. I've seen quite a few E.G.'s here, actually. A bunch of Miatas. <laughs> Miatas got teeth. These guys aren't playing around. A Porsche and a Viper. Dude, this thing is insane. Straight up race car. That's crazy. So I'm gonna head back now because uh, there's a little meeting before I go out on the track. And um, that, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, I almost walked into a trailer. The way the event is set up, I will have four laps on the track in the 2020 GR Supra Launch Edition. I'm going to have a course orientation lap first with a cool down lap to conclude the event. However, the rules are no passing of the other press Supra driven by another journalist is permitted, which is a slight downfall because I am the second car to go after that first car gets a half lap ahead. In sport mode, it'll do its own thing there. Okay. Like a break. Wait for the one. Wait, wait. Now set to turn. 
turn in left. Good. Stay kind of in the middle. A little bit of brake. Right. Good. Now on, hug the inside. Stay in. Stay in. Stay into that cone there. And then all the way out to the right. All the way to the one. Brake. Wait. Wait. Turn. Good. Stay there to the left. Back over to the left a little. Okay. And you're right on the curb. Stay inside the right. Now out to the left. Good. The first thing I noticed on the orientation lap was just how usable the power band is on the Mark V Supra and how quickly I stopped caring about the lack of a manual transmission in this thing. The clamping force of these brakes stood out to me the most out of anything, which made me want to push the car further with every lap as I familiarized myself with this course. gap and Sarah has closed that gap quite a bit. Here we go. There's our white one. And let's see, there's Sarah. I'm sure I, I probably wait for that car and then. Oh, you want to wait? Yeah, no problem. Fine. Oh, she's slowing down. I think she's been instructed to slow down. She was going to pass him. So I can come out further over yeah, here. There's okay. more than one way to do this, but now he's now go to the right. Stay all the way to the right. Okay. Because if you're sense. doing, if you're trying to go faster there, you won't make this turn. Uh, they connect each other there. Yep. Okay. Good. Inside then outside. That car is pretty gone now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Killing it. 
She's had to slow down a bunch of times now to keep from catching up and passing the white car. It sounds good, doesn't it? It does, it sounds really good. Yep. Good. All the way to the left. We had this guy just talking about how uh, anyone with skill can do this track in about a minute three to a minute ten. And he said that the person, whoever's driving the black car, has some skill. So we have it from the pros. <laughs> do you want me to go over there? No, right here, just behind. Oh, okay. Hey, that's fun. <laughs> so push the key, please, for me. Perfect. That went by so incredibly fast and I don't mean the car itself, that was actually pretty fast too. But that was so fun taking that thing on the track. This is the first time I've ever driven this track ever before. It's actually the first time I've been on a racetrack in like seven or eight years. Nine. Many years. It's been a long time since I've been on a racetrack. So this is sweet. And I got to meet Faye Hadley. She's actually here working with the Toyota team. Um, she has Instagram and stuff. And YouTube, she works on a lot of Toyotas. She's a Toyota tech, so her stuff is down below on the screen. She's busy working right now again, or else I'd have her in the vlog. Keep that hard top on that yellow S2K. Mm, that is clean. I can't get over this Godzilla. I mean, this thing is just straight up a track beast. There's nothing streetable left in this car. That front splitter is like a porch. It is absolutely huge. <laughs> that is so funny. Some say. Check that out, two AW11 Mr. Doses. What does that say on the side of the car? 500 horsepower hamster power. <laughs> I have my big zoom lens on my camera right now, so this is really awkward trying to vlog with it. I have my camera like 10 feet from my head on a extended monopod. I feel like an idiot. I just stopped for lunch real quick. That event went by so fast and I didn't really have that much time to capture content with the Supra. So hopefully I'll be able to do a full review on the car here in the next coming couple months. Even though I know the car has been out for a little while now and there's been tons of reviews on the car already, but I still want to have my chance to, to review the thing. It's a gump. It's it's cousin gump in front of me and it's loud too. It's a modified gump. Oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> Hello, I'm back home. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little track day. It's not a review. I don't know what you want to call this. Hopefully I can do a review on the Supra soon. But this was a lot of fun to do. And uh, I'm gonna do some more work on the MR2 because it's only four o'clock in the afternoon. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another. Bye.